YouTube, it's your girl Love Kisses 99 and I'm coming to you today with a wig review. The wig we're going to review today is from HairStoppingShop.com and the wig is, it actually has numbers and just a couple of words as a name. It's S Lace 013. And this is in color 1B. Now I'm just going to open it up so we can see what it looks like. And here she is. It's a nice wavy pattern. And it looks to me the texture really does mimic um, relaxed African American hair. And it looks to me to be about maybe 16 or 18 inches long. And here's the inside. It has lace in the front here, which we're going to trim most of that off. It has combs at each temple and it also has a comb in the back and there's a small piece of lace here and there are also clips two of these little adjustable clips in the back now I'm wearing a black wig cap and I'll tell you the reason for that the reason I'm wearing a black wig cap is because sometimes with wigs made like this with the tracks in the back like this sometimes the tracks you can see through them like you can see through what would be the base of your you know your head in the back so in order to camouflage it and not you know in case the wind blows or something like that the tracks won't show I'm wearing a black wig cap against the tracks I'm just going to trim the lace off and I'll be right back and we'll preview it together okay so I am back and I trimmed all the way back to where the hairline begins and I'm not going to use adhesive or anything I'm going to see if we can just rest this one on my hairline and see if we can get it to look natural that way without using any tape or adhesive or anything like that so here it goes I am going to use just the comb in the back And I'm just adjusting it a little bit. And I am going to use just my fingers to, you know, just kind of separate the waves a little bit. Now, the parting space is not very large at all. This is about as much parting space as you'll have, which is from about right here to right here. And only across the very front. Down, this is down the middle and then right here along the side there really isn't much parting space so I would pretty much just leave it as far as the parting is concerned just right along the side for the most natural look so that's pretty much it for the parting space adjust it back a little bit you don't want it to be riding too low on your forehead So here we have the S Lace 013 from HairStoppingShop.com. I'll leave all the information in the information bar, well in the information area right down here so you can check it out. And I'm going to see how it would look if I just pulled it back off of my hairline. Now this, if you're going to wear it pulled back all the way to like where your ear is, you would definitely have to use a small piece of tape right here. But other than that, could you get away with just kind of pulling the hair down a little bit and camouflaging? Once you put that piece of tape here, I think you could absolutely get away with doing that. So could you wear it off of your face? You could. And just use your fingers and just smooth the hair down a little bit around the hairline. And there you go. You're good to go. And I'm going to do the same to this side. And as I stated, just put a little small piece of tape here and just you know camouflage is the way to go camouflage that hairline a little bit use your tape here to just kind of hold that piece down and I'm just looking around for like maybe a hair clip so bear with me okay okay I'm just gonna use a bobby pin and see if we can make that work by you know just showing you how it looks pulled back 
And could you wear it like that? Absolutely. And actually, instead of tape, I'm going to try one of the mini bobby pins from Sally Beauty Supply. And I'm just going to pull this piece down and see if we can do it without any adhesive at all. And actually, you sure can. Just camouflage this area really well and you'll be good to go. I'm going to put a bobby pin on this side now. And I'm going to pull it up. Camouflage that hairline. Grab another clip. And you can pull this part up as well. And you can wear it pulled back off of your face like this. I don't think I would necessarily wear it in a high ponytail, probably a low pony for sure. Um, because it's just not flat enough right here which you could use tape there that's pretty much your choice but there we have it all pulled back all pinned back and that would absolutely work well the summer's here kind of warm outside for all the hair in your face I know I'll be wearing a pin back and I'm gonna take it down and just style it another way run my fingers through it I'm liking the wave pattern and it really does feel like relaxed hair. I'm just going to turn around so that you can see how long it is in the back. And there it is. I'm hoping that gave you a good view of how long it is in the back. So, would this one work? I'm actually looking for something else to style with. Um, Yes, this one is definitely workable. I'm not going to put any sprays on it or anything, but I did find these new little twisty pins. Um, I think these are by Goody, and I haven't really tried it yet. I just kind of took them out of the bag, and it says that you can twist your hair, and it acts as if it's a whole bunch of bobby pins, but we're going to see if that's actually true. So I'm going to take the hair, and I'm going to twist it and see if I can get these this little twisty pin thing to work and you just insert it and you turn it let's see what happens and actually the thing does work I'm surprised and you could wear it in like a little tousled little side you know little side twisty bun something like that and that would work. Pull out a few little tendrils over here. And maybe one or two right around the front. Just a little messy look. Messy but still kind of put together. So there's another styling option. And I'm going to take the pin out. And just untwist it. And let the hair fall. So this one does have quite the amount of styling options to it. I'm liking the hairline. It's not so perfect all the way around, so it gives the illusion that it could be, you know, a natural hairline. And you can always pull out a little bit of your hair around the front to give it that, you know, even more of a natural look. So that is my quick review of the S Lace 013. I'm so used to wigs having names. So that's my quick review of the S Lace 013 from Silhouette available at hairstoppingshop.com. So check it out when you get an opportunity. I think Silhouette is coming out with quite a few new looks, uh, quite a few new um, wigs. So check them out when you have an opportunity. And I'm hoping you have an absolutely great day today. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.